Bobbing back and forth while continually riding the waves of success, Post Falls-based Stancraft has managed to weather the volatile and changing pleasure boat market by producing quality, handcrafted, wooden boats. Currently celebrating its 75th anniversary, Stancraft began by making its mark on Flathead Lake in Montana in 1933. Company founder Stan Young began building a business that he would later pass on to his son, Sid. When my dad started right out of high school in 1933, I don't know why, but he had a, a natural genius for the boats and he was a, a capable builder and designer and that's what he wanted to do. So his, his dad, my grandpa, helped him build a boat shop out over the water in Flathead Lake in the early 30s and that's where he started. You know, they were just building runabouts probably from 33 until the war broke out. And at that point, everybody shut down because you couldn't even buy lumber anymore. It was, the whole thing was World War II. But Stanley came back after the war and uh, really took off. And the next 20 years or so of Stancraft was where they built a great deal of the Stancrafts that are around today. I grew up in the business, was born into it. And uh, I, whenever, all the time I was a little kid, I was down in the shops. It seemed like a fun place to be. And I don't think I had any terribly large interest in design process until about 25 years ago. I had been around it. I worked beside my dad on occasion whenever I could to watch him loft and design boats and I learned that in a rudimentary way. One of the things that I've found out that if you're if you're listening around a boat shop you'd hear things like well we should have done this with a bottom a little different or we could have done that and it would have created this and I think I absorbed some of that stuff and that started to uh, uh, interest me a little bit along the way about what what can you do to make the boats really handle nice. We've reached a point now where there isn't an exact formula, but there's a there's a there's a mindset as to how we do the bottoms on these boats, and it it, it has a tendency to make them ride level and ride soft, and that those are two issues that are big in my mind. That's taken a while to develop, and I'm proud of what's happened there because without that, I don't think the boats would be popular at all. By building quality wooden boats from the ground up and building a business that had room for growth, with some new and fresh ideas, daughter Amy stepped into the picture with her husband Rob and proceeded to push the wooden boat building business in new directions, with Sid willing to take the back seat. He has been interesting. Now I'm 64 and I'm backing out. I really am. And Julie and I are both backing out. Rob and Amy are, are taking over the whole deal. And uh, we've just tried to be uh, advice and supervision a little bit for a while. When we're done, they, it's theirs. Sid really started working on bottom designs a lot in the 80s, in the late 80s. He really wanted to change because wooden boats were really known for riding very high, not being able to see very well, uh, having to sit on the back, you know, the upper part of the back seat. And so he started working on bottom designs in the uh, late 80s and then really came up with actually this boat's design, the torpedo bottom which kind of revolutionized the Stancraft boat uh, as far as riding very level, uh, very comfortable ride, um, and, and a real soft ride. And then, so we've taken that since Amy and I have come back and taken Sid's knowledge of his bottom designs and, and, and certainly some of his hull shapes and uh, just really tried to bring technology and the latest and greatest things into it. Rob kind of took it into a direction where I had never even thought of for even you know growing up in it, I mean he's taking it to the powerboat echelon of things, and I always thought, oh, you have to stay in the traditional sense, like my father has grown up with. But he even tweaked it himself. But it's neat to see how varied you can get with your imagination. Made exclusively from imported African mahogany, Stancraft boats are meticulously designed and built with the past and present in mind including innovations that make it one of the most sought after pieces of art that floats on the water. With power plants that can exceed 700 horsepower, these pieces of wood skip across the water like there is no tomorrow. There's a few guys in the states that are building wooden boats. Uh, most of those are back east. There's a couple in the Seattle area, but uh, even compared to those guys, a lot of them are bringing back old designs and building uh, remakes, you might say. Whereas we really take a lot from our past uh, skills and knowledge and then we infuse a lot of the new technologies. We do new designs. We very rarely bring back an old design per se. 
Uh, we certainly incorporate the lines and the, and the, the feeling of the old stuff, but um, we really try to keep everything fresh and new. Everyone likes wood. I mean, it's just beautiful by nature. Uh, it's custom made is a big deal to a lot of our guys. Uh, other guys, it's just the fact that it's cool and it's new, it's different, you know? And they're not gonna see, they could, they could buy it, take it to any lake in the country and not see another one, ever. Lake Coeur d'Alene in the summer is a showcase and on occasion a showroom where owners meet and tell stories about their prized possessions, their stand crafts. This is one of my passions and, uh, and to share it is something special for me because a lot of people, you know, they just don't see these very often and, and it's whenever I just meditate, I'll see myself on Coeur d'Alene in this boat and it's like I'm watching from above and I'm just ripping all over the place and uh, it sets my heart right. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.